So I'm quickly learning how frustrating farming can actually be. This right here is called a universal joint, and there's nothing more frustrating than putting a universal joint back together. We've got this hooked up to our hay baler, and uh, we had two busted universal joints, one here, one down here going into the hay baler that we had to replace. So I figured I'd walk you through and tell you how we did it, so if you have the same problem, maybe I can save you some of the frustration of rebuilding a universal joint. Now we had bent our bar here trying to work our hay baler, so we had to put a new bar on a yoke. So both of these are new yokes. Um, in order to get this yoke on here, you can see we had to weld it on. Um, once we got it welded on, uh, we then put in the new universal joint, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, this part here is the part that goes over the shaft of the PTO. So each of these are called yokes. Uh, you just have to check and make sure you're getting the right kind of yoke for the bar you're using or whether it's going on to the PTO shaft itself. Um, and the yokes come separately from the actual universal joint. Now right in here is the universal joint. We have a grease fitting on top, universal joint, and then it's right in here held by this pin. Now the universal joint has four bearings. Um, they all look like this piece down in here. And inside the, the bearings are a bunch of small uh, rollers. Each of those pins you have to make sure are in the right place. Uh, if they, they fall out, uh, none, none of this will work. Um, when you get the universal joint in, you've got to push, press those bearings in from the outside. You know, what we did was we set them in and kind of tapped them in with a hammer. And then we got a uh, C-clamp and pushed down from each side until we got uh, each bearing flush with the universal joint. And inside of these yokes, there's a notch that the clip goes into. So you've got to push, press them together, um, which is a very daunting task, until you can get these pins in and uh, get the universal joint Correct. So I'm going to show you here what these universal joints look like when they come in a box. These are the universal joints that we used. This is one that we had broken. Uh, that's the universal joint. The grease fitting fits right there. This is a bearing. If you look inside there, you'll see one pin and the other pins are missing. This is how your bearing should look. Got a row of pins on the inside. This is when we busted, all the pins fell out. Now these will slide over these. It's real easy to do and it's not inside the yoke. But you know, pressing this piece down through the yoke to get over the universal joint is the toughest part of it. And then you've got to kind of pound this in to the yoke without knocking out your pins. This clip, once this is inside the yoke, will then squeeze down and hold everything in place inside of the yoke. This is another shot of our universal joint. We've got our universal right here in the center. We've got the uh, the bearings that are pressed in and then these pins clamp down on top and kind of slide in the little notch of the yoke. So universal joint, your bearings, pins, this is the yoke, this is the yoke. Um, it's not a whole lot to it, it's more or less aggravating trying to press these together and get everything in place.